Hello there, Hyler Tamerlane again, bringing you another obscurity in miniature. Today, you are looking at the pieces of something that looks like it's going to be a wolf. It's Renard's stunning shot from Legends of Signum. Sigmun? Signum. That sounds right. Um, Signum is the game slash miniatures line that Cadwallen.com puts out these days. And I figured to myself, I haven't gotten much out of the far eastern part of Europe in a while, so hey, why not start with some wolves? So, um, Renard's stunning shot here is in fact a wolfen of some sort. Um, you can see he's got some nice big claws there out of focus. Tail as well. Um, one thing I noticed right away with this figure is he's kind of scrunched up. I figured from the website itself, um, he was going to be a little bit larger than he actually turned out to be. So, um, one thing I liked about this figure, I did clean it up a little bit. There were little, um, the casting vents and gates and all that on there, but otherwise I haven't really done much to clean it to prep it for building or videoing. Not sure if that's the correct verb. But the pieces go together quite nicely. Doing this one hand is going to be a challenge, so give me a second, we'll just slap this sucker together. Okay, and there we have a nicely dry fitted Renard stunning shot. As you can see based on his name, he's got a nice little hunting rifle there and we will attempt to give him a nice quick turn. Um, not too many parts, not too... Oh, there we go. We knew that was going to happen though. Um, nice detailing. And he's just falling apart as I turn him here. Wow, that's kind of sad. Um, overall, the figure itself I thought has nice crisp details, easy to build. Um, my only disappointment was the size. So let's just at least grab, well, the head wanted to stay on at least, so that's good. Grab at least the torso there. I'm not a fan of his chest plate, but it seems kind of silly to have such heavy plate armor for a... <sighs> gunner, but what do I know? Can we do it? Yes, we can. Probably would help if I clean the feet off a bit better. Um, so my first concern was, is he going to stack up to any other wolf models I may have in my collection? Because actually, Cad Wallen puts out quite a few nice wolfen-styled minis. Um, I don't actually have a lot of wolfen models these days. I sold most of my figures off to fund my Kingdom Death habit. Um, this is a Wrath of Kings... Oh, Scorza, I believe they were called them. Or the Garitzi faction. Um, what was it? it was a scores a skirmisher or something like that. You can see good size comparison. She's a female. I think their female wolves were a little bit smaller from Wrath of Kings, which is what she came from. Um, but overall, nice balance, both on 40 millimeter bases there. Um, the only only actual wolfen model I still have these days is an unpainted, unbuilt. Uh, what was he? Was he a prowler? His head's nearby, but you can see they're reasonably close in size. So I guess um, my initial complaints about him being a little bit on the short and stocky side, I, eh, maybe a bit unfounded, but um, my plan was to go with a all-wolf um, vanguard force for playing the new Kings of War vanguard from Mantic using nothing but wolves. Um, so we'll see how that works out. Let's see if I found a nice little 40 millimeter base. Yeah, it works on a square too. If I can find it with one hand. So yeah, um, one thing I was kind of surprised was that this figure did not come with a base. Of all of the Legends of Sigmund figures I've purchased at this point, and there's been probably a half dozen or so that I've picked up before they ran the actual Kickstarter for their game. Um, they always had a nice little detail base, but then again, most of those figures that I purchased were also on 30 millimeter bases with their own fancy little... Um, logo on the bottom of it. So that might be part of the reason why they just haven't gotten around to making bigger bases yet. Maybe they forgot. I don't know. Maybe I need to glue this guy and patch him up and make him look a lot better. That's a possibility too. So um, that is just a quick little look at Renard Stunning Shot. And if you're interested, check out Ked Wallen's site or their Legends of Signum site. And I will hopefully remember to put the link down below and I will leave you to your figures. See you later.